Welcome everyone to a Tortuga Power channel update. It has been a long time, but here we are, we're back. So I guess it's been over a month, almost two months, maybe even two months since my last recording. Um, and the reason for that is in the last two months I've moved twice and I started a new job. So there were definitely some legitimate reasons for me not to be posting content. Um, however, thankfully, some of the chaos is starting to subside and now I think I'm actually going to ease my way back into doing some recordings. So for those faithful who have kind of stuck with it and um, stayed subscribed, even though, you know, honestly, <laughs> a month of, it, of inactivity is not a promising thing, I'm sure. But, uh, well, I hope that your patience has been rewarded or will be rewarded as I start to publish content once again. So in the backdrop, we'll be doing War Game Red Dragon. I actually don't know what's going on on the screen right now because after doing about 10 takes, um, trying to talk and play at the same time, I kept getting distracted and I want to keep this video pretty short, so I'm going to try to just talk and then I'll put this audio on top of an existing video of just gameplay. War Game Red Dragon, it's a, it's a really good game. Uh, you'll definitely be entertained, I think. One of the few modern warfare games out there. Uh, we certainly have an abundance of World War II games, but I mean, if you even think about it, there's not a whole lot of Vietnam War games, despite that being, I think, a really interesting conflict. Uh, also, Desert Gulf, you know, some of the later ones. Uh, probably because we don't have that balanced situation that existed in World War II. It's, it's like World War II, and it, it's kind of crazy how it's it's almost like an even start anybody i think could have won but um but you know that's not necessarily true in desert gulf obviously you know you have one clear favorite and so the balancing of it can be a little tricky whereas uh, world war ii you practically just leave it it's about ba it, it's balanced almost from the get-go um okay anyways a war game Drag red dragon will be on the background i don't even know what's going on like i said because I tried uh, six or seven times to record the video and then kept being interrupted and then I had to restart the recording from scratch. So finally I'm like, okay, I'm just going to use Audacity to dub over something. Okay, so let's talk about the stuff I want to talk about. Uh, first of all, if you are interested in Wargame Red Dragon, I should mention this is Co-op vs. AI. And we do play a bit of this on the Discord. So if you're interested in doing this skirmish versus the AI type stuff, um, we don't really do PvP, but um, if you're interested in that, then feel free to check out the Discord. It, you know, it's a, a free app. You don't even have to have the app. I guess you can use the any kind of internet browser to check it out. See if it's your thing or not, and then um, leave or stay as you as you wish. Um, so I mentioned that I moved twice in the last two months. Uh, I started a new job. All these things are keeping me busy. In fact, I'm not even really settled in the new place yet. Right now, I am recording this and have been playing my games from the top of a dresser <laughs> so I have to kind of hunch over there's no place for my legs underneath what I mean at a desk normally your legs fit under under underneath the desk you know you can move your body like kind of into the desk uh, you can't do that with a dresser so it's pretty uncomfortable but ho hopefully <laughs> hopefully I'll have a, a desk set up and things will be smoothed out um, pretty soon uh, it's, it hasn't but the chaos like I said was uh, starting to subside from the moves and starting a new job and all that although it's really busy at my work I'm not I'm not complaining about this it's wonderful I really enjoy what I'm doing it's very interesting I was even thinking of doing a video on um, kind of like the physics of the stuff I'm doing which is related to superconductivity but um, it, it obviously it it doesn't really fit on the channel. It's not a game at all. And <laughs> just, I, I give presentations now. So I was thinking, well, it might be interesting to make a presentation for the people on YouTube. But if I was to do that, I think the most natural course of action would be to have a new channel related to like physics stuff. And since I'm, I don't think that's what I, I don't think I'm, I can't foresee myself maintaining that kind of channel. Um, well, anyways, I'm putting a pin in that, and maybe it's something I'll come back to, but for the time being, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so now that we've talked about 
why I couldn't do content and now that I'm coming back and I will do content, the question is what content will I do? We have two things which are competing for the first spot. Actually, the first thing is probably going to be this video on Empires Apart because that's it's, today is the 29th and I think it officially releases today. So I'm trying to get that out today or tomorrow. Um, just really briefly, it's not actually my cup of tea, um, that kind of game. Real-time strategy, even War Game Red Dragon I have a hard time with because it, it's a little fast-paced. But this is Empires Apart is just um, an Age of Empires 2. I would... I would say clone even. It's so similar. Um, anyways, that'll be my first video just because Matrix was Matrix and Slytherin, I should say, were nice enough to provide me with a press key. So I wanted to give that a small video spotlight. Um, but the first real content will be either to end all wars or rule the waves as USA. So I was talking about rule the waves as the USA for a while. Um, that's like my bread and butter. I love doing rule the waves series. Um, we have Rule Waves 2 coming out, which should be really exciting, I hope. Um, I don't think it's actually going to come out in 2018. I suspect that there will be some delays. It's just par for the course, and it's such a small development studio that, you know, any kind of personal thing, you, you just have no buffer against any kind of personal happenings or any kind of delays. It's not like you can ask someone else on the team to step up if you're, like, a new person. So, um, we'll see. We'll, we'll stay tuned with any developments there. But um, to end all wars is the other thing. Um, and I just need to check with XTRG and Historical Gamer to make sure that we're still on for that because um, it's been two months and for no fault of their own, it's only for me, um, we, that, that's stopped. And you know, maybe they've gone about their lives and they might be too busy to resume that series. So I'll check with them uh, as soon as I get this video out and the Empires Apart video out and my audio is set up and my, I actually have a desk I can sit in. When some of these other things get sorted out, I'll, I'll you know, ping them and see if they're interested because I, I don't want to ping them until I know for sure I can commit to doing it. Don't make the same mistake twice, right? Um, Aurora was, I was looking at my channel update on my Discord, the like, not channel update, but channel schedule, just the upcoming potential schedule. And I have Aurora on there. It's, it was like this pause that was supposed to have be only like a month and then it ended up being until now. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be one of the first series back I would like for it to be. It's probably the next one beyond Rule the Waves and End All Wars. Uh, although that's actually subject to change because Aurora is like on the back burner. It's, it's not going anywhere. It, it'll always be there. And I kept hoping for the new series to be on C Sharp, but there's you know just no timeline for that at all. Um, so what might take its place, which has already happened several times, is any kind of flavor of the week type thing. Like um, I was doing, what was that zombie game called? Uh, they Are Billions. I was doing They Are Billions. That was a, a small series. Stuff like this could come and, and take Aurora's place, even though Aurora is a fantastic game and I really want to get back into it. I haven't even myself played it for a while. Another game which I just constantly find myself playing is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So, um, well, I mean, that's neither here nor there. I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes, so let's speed it up a little bit. Uh, that's a general idea of the upcoming content. Um, we'll figure it out as we go. One thing I also want to mention, though, I am back, and yay, there's hopefully going to be more content on a more regular basis, but I can tell you, because of the demands of my work right now, and order, not that I, I think this might just be indefinitely, the demands for my work, period. I don't think I'll ever get back to uh, as frequent video releases as has happened in the past. I think there was a time in the past I was even doing like two videos a day for a little bit, that's definitely not going to happen. I'm probably looking at two videos, two, three videos a week tops. So there'll be um, definitely a slower pace to content releases. And I just want to be upfront about that because, I mean, I, I don't know. Honesty is my policy. I, <laughs> I'm also, I was going to say, I'm not doing this for money. I'm, re I'm really not. And I'm also probably going to cancel my Patreon because um, even with my work right now, there's government contracts involved. And I'm not even sure. It, I, I'm pretty sure there's no conflict of interest or anything for me to be doing YouTube videos um, and even if I get paid for them but just to be on the safe side I don't I really don't need the patreon now that I have a, a real job so uh, we'll probably I'll cancel that
So, um, last thing I guess is I want to always pitch my Discord for those people who are interested in interacting with me a little bit more or playing games with me. Um, especially because I think we have a bit of a, a more mature crowd there. Um, we do some games like Europa Universalis for... It, it's not too fast-paced, it's pretty slow-paced. The war game Red Dragon, as I mentioned. Um, it's, it's not about... It's really more about the community and having fun with each other, but I, I have to say it's not It's not immature. <laughs> That's my favorite part of the community is that it's not immature for the most part I mean we still joke around and we have fun. We play our quiplash game If you know what that is, it's kind of like this uh, party type game where you make up answers I, I guess it's somewhat like apples to apple or apples to apples or what's the one people always talk about the um, whatever against humanity cards against humanity something like that but anyway uh this is it's about community that's why i have the discord to begin with and, um, it's been very successful so far basically it's so attractive that sometimes instead of recording videos i just go on and play multiplayer games with the people there <laughs> so yeah anyway hopefully um your faith in humanity was restored for sticking around staying subbed whatever uh waiting for more content to come out and I'll let you know in the future again if I'm going to become unavailable for another lengthy period of time and I'll just try to keep people in the know because my um, modus operandi my way of thinking about everything related to my channel has always been to think what I would want people, uh, some kind of content creator to do for me and that's what I try to do so I try to respond to comments because that's always nice that to me so I like to do that and the same way I like to be well informed I, I want to know am I supposed to expect this kind of content uh, so you know without needing to know the personal details uh, a small amount of knowledge about release schedules and stuff is, is nice it's always nice so thanks for watching I'm really happy to be back I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that the war game red dragon video in the background was entertaining <laughs> I have no idea what happened like I said so <laughs> hopefully I won um, I had a few maps where the AI was being really, really stupid and sending like their half tracks into meat tanks without unloading troops. But um, presumably, I've picked better, cherry picked, really better footage than that. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I can't wait to interact with people in the comments and to be getting back into the swing of things with video recording. Uh, so thanks for watching, and until the next video or series or whatever, take care.